Hello, everyone. Welcome to another uh, 3D printing episode of the Butter What Show. We're going to talk about the Prusa XL because my co-host here, uh, Brian C. Moses .com, he uh, immediately, as soon as he saw the Prusa XL was going to be available, he went to their website and ordered one. Shut up and take my Absolutely. money. Absolutely. What What have you? Uh, what can you tell us about the Prusa XL, Tubby? Well. Not not as much as I'd like to be able to say about it, other than I was really excited when they announced it and felt like it would be a, a pretty sizable upgrade for me. Um, the biggest, well, we've talked about this a lot offline, but the biggest issue I've had lately is I've had a bunch of first layer adhesion problems where I've been, I've been tinkering with my, my 3D printer just about every print. Not not always, but especially yeah, with that little F fourteen yeah, guy. Yeah, he sticks on these. Uh, you know, I lose these uh, round. The round jets don't yep. like to stick, at least with this filament. And one of one of the XL's new features is this supposed fantastic no calibration first layer. And that I mean that right there on the feature list, all by itself was enough for me to say yeah, I want to try that out. I mean I'm in, I'm excited about it. I'd like to be an early adopter of of a new 3D printer, and I'm really looking forward to it. I agree with you. That's the feature I'm most excited. But the the Prusa XL compared to the this is Prusa's Voron essentially. This is a yep. It's big. Oh geez, they're telling me centimeters. It's a cube again. Okay, no. It's back to a cube like the old i3. It's a about 14 by 14 by 14 inches, and it's a Core XY. And I should have queued up a video to, to show how Core XY works, but it's like, it's like magic. There's two motor. This doesn't seem exciting because it's true of your old printer, Brian, but two motors move the X and the Y axis, but two motors are always involved. No, whether you're moving horizontal, like it's all horizontal cut nope whether it's uh, x or y both motors have to turn they turn in opposite directions to go i don't understand how it works it's like voodoo it's ma magic it's magic like our quadcopters stay. yeah they just work they just they just work we don't understand we don't understand it physics but i don't have the page up what's a uh, the regular proofs is what uh, about 1200 bucks less than the yeah the mark, the mark 3s plus or whatever like 750 and then 1100 assembled or something and this is 2000 for the kit and 2500 assembled i'm excited enough about the new bed leveling that i would pay a thousand bucks just for the new bed leveling but that's not the only new feature this should be fa there haven't been test demo videos or anything yet have there um there was a couple i can't remember which of the which of the 3d printer guys did a couple, but they took they took the Prusa XL to. I don't I don't know the name of the show, 3D Printing Con or whatever, and a bunch of the a bunch of the 3D printing YouTube guys. Yeah, but nobody's all put it through their the, paces yet, and yeah, it a, yeah, nobody know, showed us what it could really do, other than somebody being able to watch it for a few minutes at a at a booth. Yep, nobody's had their hands on it. The last time we did that, and we had one of our 3D printers on display somewhere, I purposely turned down the printing speed because I wanted one big print to run exactly from the beginning to the end of the the time we were going to be there so I didn't have to mess with it. I wonder what kind of nonsense they do. That's brave. Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't that big of a print. It was a medium sized yeah. print, but I instead of taking 3 hours, I wanted it to take 8. 8, yeah. But the way this new uh bed leveling works, works. I mean, it's very much like the old one where you check the height at different points and it, you know, does math and adjusts your Z. But our old printers use the Penda probe, which is kind of a magnetic inductance magic probe that senses the steel sheet under the PEI. Yeah. And to me, that's a bummer because you have to program in how thick all your PEI sheets are. You have to recalibrate forever and you have to pick if you have five PEI sheets, you have to pick. You have to put the right number in to the printer yep. or it's not coming out right. 
but this won't matter. You could put pretty much anything on there, and it's a pressure sensor. When the nozzle touches the surface, it triggers some kind of highly sensitive doodad up in the mechanism. And that's really cool. Yeah, it, it sounds really neat. Pre-ordered it. You did pre When is it supposed to be about... due? Oh, it says here. Quarter two, quarter three of next year. Quarter two or quarter three of next year, but my invoice said late January. Ooh, that's, so that's I don't, quarter one. I don't know. Yeah, well, and I don't... I don't know how accurate that invoice is. I mean, for all I know, everybody says it. I hope that just means I'm towards the front of the line. I hope so. Well, you were quick. Cause it, you were quick. Yeah, because it, it wasn't actually a pre-order. It was just a deposit. You know, you get, you've get you got a, it was a $200 refundable deposit. And at the time that they get to your to your order, they'll ask you, you to can pay. change your order. They'll ask you to pay. Now I'm I'm, I'm, kind I'm of, just running through the features because I don't even remember everything. Yeah. They've eliminated the multi-material weird. I, I thought it was really weird on the old printer. I'm kind of excited about this. This is multiple print heads that multiple print heads. Like a CNC tool machine changing. where it goes out and grabs yeah. the correct the correct tool. So you can load this up right with now, a bunch of different materials or colors. Yep. And right now it's only Hot ends, but they said other tools might, would be possible. That there there wasn't a, you know, a. Yeah, the things I, I can mean, imagine. I a, you could probably. Oh, I know you can put a laser on there. That would be easy. Yep. And. That's the only thing yeah, I you're can not think gonna of. Put a maybe dremel, a teeny you're not gonna tiny put a dremel on here. The, the yeah. Core X Y is just not a stiff enough platform. Okay. The trouble is a CNC machine needs to be rigid and usually they're slow because they put big honking motors on, but a 3D printer needs to be fast and light and zip around. Yeah. Different, very different optimizations there. They're telling us about the, the live Z adjust is going away. The core X, Y, the power loss recovery is not new, but I've never seen it work on any of the old printers. And I, I know it has ish, it only worked. I think it only works on the Prusa Mark III if you print from the SD card instead of from OctoPrint. Oh, that's a bummer. But I think you can set up OctoPrint to copy the file to the SD card and run the job. Okay. From there, but but I've heard a lot of finicky things. I hope this works. But like I've heard that if the power goes off, comes back on, and then goes off again too soon, Interesting. you're in trouble. Yeah. It's, the modular print bed is interesting. Yeah, where you only have to heat parts of the print bed. The parts and it that you're going to use. Warp as much because yeah, it's, it doesn't warp as much. It looks like it's sixteen small units instead of one gigantor heating unit. I wonder if that'll. Wonder what kind of difference in power efficiency that does. I don't know that it. Would I've be. never put a kilowatt on my Mark III, but I put a kilowatt on my my old printer, and. I used to run things a lot hotter. I used to print ABS, so it was a hundred Celsius bed instead of sixty, and a hotter tool. It never went over hundred and fifty watts, oh, and nice. that was only when everything, when it happened to be heating, right? When yeah. most of the time it when was when everything was warming yeah. up. Yeah, most of the time it's not that that high, but I think it'll be exciting for not warping your build plate as much. Yep, the thirty-two bit yeah, electronics I've... is exciting, but we already have that in the Prusa Mini. I don't know how much this shares in common. But I've been expecting the next Prusa, like the Mark IV or whatever the next in this line of my printer will be. We'll get the same 32-bit electronics that are in the... I already forgot the name of it Every, again. I said it too. Everything the else. Prusa Mini. The XL or the Mini. I'm, I'm excited about the Prusa XL. I'm excited that you're getting one so I get to see one. But it seems like too much printer for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little worried about that. Too. I kind of wanted when I when my old printer broke and I ordered the Mark III S. I was really hoping to order a Prusa Mini because it's about the right size, and they're so inexpensive. I really wanted to try it, but when I yep. ordered, it was going to be like 12, 12 or sixteen weeks before they would ship one to me. Maybe maybe and at the time that date was crawling, it kept or moving, climbing, right? Yeah. yeah, and that that was right before. You know all of the, all of the silicone shortages and whatnot. Also, so 
There's no telling. Yeah, but the, yeah, the, no, you may, the Mark III you, was only four, four or five weeks for a fully assembled unit, and I said, yeah, yeah. that's for me. I will take that. You made, you made a good decision, I think. But it'll be interesting. I'm more excited about when this stuff starts trickling into the Mark III and the Prusa Mini. I want that. I want this kind of bed leveling everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What'll be the What'll be the upgrade kit that inherits some of that yeah. some of that R and D? I'm glad you brought the Prusa XL. I would not fault anyone for buying one. But when I see the twenty five hundred dollar price tag for the fully assembled one, I start thinking, well, how many minis could I buy? And yeah. have on a. I don't really want that many. I don't want. Yeah. I don't want seven. Do you really want eight printers? Yeah, I don't really <laughs> want eight printers. But maybe three. Maybe three would fit in a reasonable amount of space. I don't know. I don't know. But somebody's thinking about this, I'm sure. What's the. Uh, yeah, what's the volume of the XL compared to the mini? Huge. Is it three times as much? Well, I've got the picture up here and it looks. Ginormous. I would tell you it's six or eight times as much. Yeah. But the Mini and the Mark III are not that far. But volume doesn't matter. I hate printing things that are tall. Yeah, I hate I hate printing things that are tall also. But I've said before I'd love to have a big print bed just to fit more parts on there. But then yeah. that increases your chance of failure. So I don't... <laughs> it's a... It's a conundrum. It is. Today, today I, I cut it. some parts for, to, for my Tindy stock on the CNC. Yep. Yeah. And it's the first time today where I cut an entire sheet all at once. And I thought, oh, if this goes wrong. Well, it's not that it's big of a bummer. It's an in it, the carbon's not that expensive. But, like, I thought this is going to go bad. It's expensive enough. Yeah. yeah. And there's... And your time. Your time's worth something. Yep. Well, the one sheet of carbon costs about as much as a whole spool of filament. So, you know, yeah. if the tool decided to go brrr right through the whole thing, it's all... Got, it's not like... It's all got. It's yeah. not like well, maybe knocking you something off your print bed and saying, "Oh, we have to start over." And all yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, cancel, bullet. clean it, start all over. Yeah. But that went well, so nobody has to worry about that. Good. You had me worried when you were talking about. I it. was a little. I something did go wrong. It drilled all the holes for the first job, and then it. I went out there and it wasn't doing anything, and it wasn't responding yep. to any of my clicks in the interface or anything. I was like. Ooh. But I was able to recover. Everything was fine. Like, I just ran, re ran the second half of the job. I exported it again and ran to do the cutouts of all the things. And it would have been yeah. a bummer if I couldn't find the home position again. Because if they were off by a little bit, all the holes would be in the wrong... Yeah, Five. 15 plates would just be garbage. Done. They haven't told us how, how much filament this thing can extrude. Because that's one... All those crazy speedboat races. Those crazy... I was... I was going to say, am I going to be doing speedboat races? Well, I don't, I'm not interested I don't in think hitting so. those ridiculous speeds, but... It'd be nice if it was faster. Yeah, well, it has to be. Yeah. Like, you could get the same quality with more speed. But it depends yeah. on how much hot end, how much... How much you can push yeah, through. Yeah, how much heater yeah, can... there is there. And they don't really tell you here. Somebody knows. We'll find out more. I'm excited to see the tool changing work. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what Did I'll do. Did you buy do. a tool, a second tool? Well, you can change it at the time that you you order it. Um, we're. I haven't. I haven't made up my mind yet. But when I placed my order, I was going to do the tool two tools. But I might change my mind and just do one, or I might change my mind and do five or whatever the match. I don't is. know what to do I with the second tool. I can only think multicolor stuff that has been problematic. Yep. Or not problematic, but you know, right now if I do multiple colors, I just change filament at a particular layer. Yeah, and maybe change back once. That's all that's the yeah. most multicolor I I would do. Yep. Get some writing exactly. on something or But have you seen have you seen the painting in the latest Prusa Slice? You can paint colors on things, right? Yeah. I I thought that was interesting. You know, I don't I don't know what I would do. Everything I stick my face on right now it winds up You don't want to put your face on the side of something right now because that's a lot of tool changes. Yeah. Or filament changes rather. Filament ch tons. Yeah. And it you know, not at a you know, you couldn't just walk over to it and say, Okay, here in about five minutes I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to put I'm gonna need to change the filament. And can you imagine inserting all those 
all that G code manually. That oh, I've be... never done it manually. I let the slicer do it for me. Yeah, well, I'm if you were doing it on the side, I don't. Yeah. Well, the slicer will still do how... it. You can tell it. You can tell it's okay, used with... tool two for part parts and. Yeah, but it'll prompt you every layer. Do your swap. I don't yeah. want to do that. I definitely don't want to do. It. What was that first three D printer I had? It had dual extruders. It was a clone of the MakerBot. Yeah, whatever it was. But I never even I never even went in to try and figure out the offset between the two extruders to print things multiple colors with that one. So I, I I looked into doing the dissolvable supports. I yeah. bought a spool of the one that's com it's HIPS is compatible with ABS and it dissolves in. I'll put it up here because I don't remember what it's called. It starts with an L. I never bought the stuff. Lysol. Lysol. You dissolve it in Lysol. But it's a rather caustic chemical that you're dissolving the supports in. And I never got around to doing it. There's yeah. there's a there's a filament, I think it's PVA, is compatible with PLA, and it dissolves in water. Which sounds fantastic, okay. except as soon as you open that filament, it's done. You've, You've got it's you can't done. even print the whole spool all at once before it absorbs so much water from the atmosphere that you can't. That it becomes that yeah. It becomes I was garbage. about to say that. Yeah. Mostly, mostly bags of water. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Don't lick the PVA. I don't know if it's PVA. I think it's PVA. I'll trust you on that. Someone can correct us in the comments. Oh, good. Can we come back and find no, I, out how you're doing with your uh, Prusa XL when it arrives? Yeah, yeah. I expect it'll be a a blog topic or a a video topic, maybe both, over on my YouTube. I think it was channel. a good choice spending the extra five hundred bucks to have it assembled for you. Yeah, I everything everything that I've read about the kits are from people who say that it was great, that they understand how the 3D printer works better, but that it took them a weekend or something, you know, a really long time. And I just, I'd screw something up in that weekend. I'd get frustrated. I'd, I'd strip the wrong wire. It, yeah. it would be a fiasco. And it would, I'd, I'm not sure how long it would take to get that fixed. And you don't even I mean, have I'd, to run through the calibration steps, which are pretty yeah. fancy on the proofs, even on the Mark III, and this is supposed to be better at that but i was so happy that i i opened the box for my mark three i pulled it out cut a couple of zip ties plugged it into my existing octoprint server and just hit print print yeah. and a thing came out and then 15 minutes later i printed something in tpu and it just worked it just worked. that's a lie yeah, I was... I, my tpu failed to stick the first time and i had to put glue down glue but down that was my fault I should have done But you almost did it. If you'd done it correctly, you would have yeah. had a successful I wanted to prank. see what would happen if I didn't. I wanted to see if it would stick. I was I was tempted when I bought my Mark III to buy the kit and assemble the kit myself and opted to spend the extra few hundred bucks to get it assembled. And that was awesome. We did that. So I can't I can't wait. I'm excited. And we'll see we'll see how many tools I wind up getting. That's up in did the Did you air. know Brian? My mother called the pizza shop one time, and they told her it would be, you know, 30 minutes in the pizza. It was before they did delivery. They said, I'll be 30 minutes. And she said, oh, I can't wait. And she hung up the phone. And my father went to pick up the pizza. Oh, and they no. didn't make him any pizza because she told them she couldn't wait. She couldn't yeah. wait. They he mis had to wait they another 30 minutes her. over there for pizza to be cooked. She was excited. I'm oh, excited yeah. to I, come pick yeah. up the pizza. <laughs> Bless her heart. That's funny. Bless her heart. 